Corey and Devin Asin, please join us down in the new gym for a program. The Peace Through Understanding project is special because we have teamed up 96 fourth graders here at Clear Springs with 96 kids from India. And it started with a friendship between adults, but um, we quickly knew that we had to focus on kids. The goal of the project is to transform a generation of kids. We want kids here in Minnetonka to know that their goal in life is to make peace. And we want them to fully understand kids halfway around the world. So that's why we've teamed up with kids in India um, from three very impoverished schools, schools that, that need good friends. And so we've formed relationships with them and we're hoping that this is just the beginning. A few weeks ago we had uh, Bishop Gideon Devanason visit our school and Bishop Gideon works with 91 schools in India and works, uh, works to serve those kids and Bishop Gideon's been very helpful facilitating the project on his side of the world. When he visited us we wanted it to be a celebration so we had a, a wonderful program uh, with songs of peace by our fourth graders and then we had our fourth graders receive their most recent letters and, and digital pictures and, and hand-drawn pictures from India. We are going to have peace. Do you think that's possible? Yes. It is possible and you're going to make it happen. What does that spell? I had the opportunity to bring our first set of letters to kids in India, and I visited three schools, Somo Sapati, Chinna Salem, and Subi Seishapuram schools, and was able to personally hand the letters to each child from their new friend in the United States. And it was an incredibly powerful experience, and it just reminded me of all the things that I know to be true with teaching and learning, that it's all about love and building relationships and focusing on each other. Dear Joey, this letter is written by your love bell friend, P.P. Van Kadesen. So today, Mrs. Moret's kids are uh, reading through the most recent letters from their new friend in India, and again, it's a one-to-one -one relationship. So by now, we've exchanged two sets of letters and pictures and communications, and they're forming really strong relationships. So now the fourth graders today are writing their next set of letters and um, talking more specifically about what makes us uh, tick. Uh, you know, what, why are kids in, in America the way we are? And so um, the focus of today, I believe, and it'll be different from student to student, but we're, we're talking more deeply about um, our families and, and our culture here today. We're going to take a photo journal where I'm going to take pictures of places and I'm going to write about them and then I'm going to answer all the questions he put in his letter. My favorite part is probably talking to other people. It's kind of fun to imagine talking to other people that are across the world and making friends with people that are in a different country. Hello, my dear friend. You are, How are you? I hope you and your family members are fine. I learned that their culture is very different from ours. Their schools are different. They think they have a lot more kids there. India is a pretty big country. It's just so cool to know that we have kids in India right now that are thinking about us, that are praying for us, that are hoping for the best for kids here. And our kids are feeling the same way about kids over there. So that someday these kids are going to grow up and have friends all over the world. And they will work hard to maintain the peace and, and the loving relationships that they've built. 